this is the captain your speedboat snorkel and beach excursion CZZ6 if I've uh, identified it correctly <laughs> so this dude's all over the place and I'm doing my best to keep up with him We're in a little 10-foot boat, bouncing around like crazy, doing S's out here. We're supposed to be doing because we're second in line. Hey, there's the ship. Oh no, that's the MSC. absorbing some of this with my body as we're bouncing, but every once in a while you get a sense of just how choppy it is out there with that small of a boat. The water itself's not that choppy, but the boat reacts to every little... I'm following this wake pattern. I'm trying to. I mean, this excursion is a lot of fun. You just have to know what you're getting into. So here, we're, I think we're finally coming up on our spot here. As I mentioned, as I mentioned in the first video, the, you're sitting on a bench. <clears throat> There's no seatbelt. You're not strapped into anything. You're literally just holding on the best you can. And the boat's very small. We're off and running again. Try to stay in his wake. Yeah, well. 30 feet's hard to do when he basically just floors it. Still doing our big S's here. And I'm trying to turn and not lose speed. I don't know. I mean, I guess. Oh, wow. Uh, the photographer coming up. So he managed to get a picture of us. And that was pretty cool. They had they had that each one of the excursions where they could take a couple pictures of you doing the excursion and of course we purchased those. Um, just relax, will you? I guess it's hard 
being the passenger of this kind of situation? I mean, of course, I'm focused on driving the boat, but I guess I could understand from Maria's point of view being the passenger. That was fun. I guess we're supposed to follow him in. He says stop, and then he keeps kind of moving. Well, we're supposed to maintain the... Okay. Yeah, see? Now see, I could have, you'll see here in a second, I could have just as easily put it in reverse and just put it right into position, but they were so hung up on, don't put it in reverse, that it's like, alright, I guess I'm going to have to do a, basically do a, come back around. And I'm sure they do it for safety reasons. It's in neutral. <laughs> no, don't put it in reverse. I'll make it around. Yeah, see. Just take it around. Don't put it in reverse. Yeah. I'm working on it going around it. So we're about to get in the water here. Now the interesting thing about this was the transition from boating, yeah. driving the boat, yeah. to getting in the water was very quick. And it was kind of like, okay, put your fins on, jump in the water. <laughs> like just jump in the water, you know, like it just happened really quickly. And um, I just didn't get a chance, and, and I never really got a chance to get my mask fully settled. So this was not my best uh, snorkeling experience because I was sort of fighting with the equipment a lot and I don't know, I was just having trouble with it. So it was also one of the first times where I had, I had to try to put my equipment on after having just driven the boat and it felt, it felt a little rushed to be honest with you. So coming up in part three, we'll uh, keep it going. And uh, we'll show you some footage of what it looks like when we got back to where we took off from, which is sort of the beach part of this excursion. So uh, that'll be coming up in subsequent parts, so uh, stay tuned. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture right above the subscribe logo.